A secret meeting between Qatar's prime minister and the Taliban chief has proven to be a quote diplomatic success. Brazilian meat makes a comeback to Qatar following an earlier ban. Dozens of PhD students are set to receive crucial grants in Somalia. Finally, concerns at PSG as Nasr al Khalifi cancels the club's annual gala dinner. Hi, it's Ali. This is the roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's prime minister reportedly held private discussions with the Taliban supreme leader during his most recent trip to Afghanistan, sources told Reuters. Described as a, quote, diplomatic success for Doha, the meeting touched on ways to ease tensions between the interim Afghan government and the international community, including lifting restrictions on girls and women. Sources who spoke to Reuters said the Taliban official appeared to be receptive to exploring ways to break Afghanistan's isolation. In other news, Qatar has officially lifted a ban on beef imports from Brazil. According to the Arab Brazilian Chamber of Commerce, the ban, which was initially implemented due to safety concerns over mad cow disease, was removed after satisfactory responses from Brazil regarding the issue. Tunisia, Palestine, and Russia have also lifted their restrictions on the Brazilian meat. Over in Somalia, Qatar Charity has signed an agreement to provide financial support to doctoral students at the University for Peace of the United Nations. Now, dozens of Somali researchers will receive grants for PhDs studies over the next three years. In a statement, Qatar Charity said this contributes to building a brighter future for Somali generations. And in sports, PSG's president Nasr al-Khlaifi has cancelled an annual traditional gala due to concerns over Sergio Rico. The goalkeeper is currently receiving medical treatment at an intensive care unit after a horse riding accident earlier this week. According to reports, the 29-year-old was rushed to hospital after sustaining head blows when a runaway horse collided with the animal he was writing. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.